In today's game development battle, we are making a bullet hell game, and the twist is you have to do it with just one script. In one script. Or one script. In one script. Or one script. Let's get started. So if we see a second script, disqualified immediately. Yeah, if you make a second script, we actually come to your house and beat you up. With that script. Okay, let's talk about starting points. So Bram is working in Godot. Bram, what are you starting with here? I've got a circle. It can move. There's what should be a health bar at the bottom, and then I've got a box around, and I can just move, and that's where I'm starting. Fast. Sterling, you've frozen again. Oh, cool. This is just racing ahead while Sterling. Oh, there we go. We're back. Oh, I'm not, We've done it. I am not okay. stopping. Okay, what you got, Sterling? What are you starting with here? Uh, it looks like you've got some something pretty. So, a really simple routine that works through a bunch of tiles, places them in the level, and then puts the character in there. There's some simple collision checking done. So it's broken. Well, there was simple character movement. Michael, where are you starting with yours? In Unreal Engine, since I don't have a script script, I'm using a component, which I can just snap onto all my classes and actors in my scene. And it has all of the code in one place. So all my blueprints are in this, the script here. And right now, all I have is other than this spawn projectile I just made, I have this player input, which is running on tick. And every frame, I'm just listening for input here from like different keys down. And if that happens, then I'm moving my airship, which is right here. I have kind of a top down thing. So it's just uh, an airship that just moves back and forth and left and right. And that's all I have so far. So are you doing multiple blueprints or just one blueprint? One component that houses all my blueprints in it in one place, but I do have multiple functions. Okay, okay. Hey man, we already <laughs> said what happens, like. <laughs> My doors are locked, so. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so, Sterling, your script already looks like the sort of mess I was expecting we would see. Yeah, 100%. It's a, it's a nightmare in here. So, it's broken. Well, there was simple character movement, but apparently there isn't anymore, so I'm going to have to start there. Well, are you doing procedural level asset creation? That seems I mean, kind elaborate. of. That It's not. <laughs> it's, it's, it's this, literally right here. I set a size that I want the level to be. I feed it some tiles, and then I tell it to render those tiles in a grid in the size I want it to be. It's not, it is not complicated. The absolute worst thing for me is to the best of my knowledge, there's no way to instance a scene without a script. So I'm gonna have to be really creative. Um, and that way of being really creative, at least my plan, is to start the game with every bullet I want to use already loaded in. You're really committing to this no script approach, aren't you? Sure, you have to have one script somewhere. Maybe it just prints a message to the console, which is, I'm the only script. Mine was going to say, hello world. <laughs> oh, oh, there you go. Okay. Can I have his script if he's not going to use it? <laughs> Bram, are you using particles to pretend that they're bullets? Oh, I see. I might, do, I might do a bit of that, yes. Yeah. Taking advantage of particles don't need scripts, so I can put lots in. Yeah, uh, but I've already, got, just... I've already got some logic, so uh, it's crazy. If I hit this bullet, I go red, and I oh, take damage. Go. Nice. I like uh, how the bullet and... doesn't move. That doesn't quite seem like bullet hell. That seems fairly... I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> Mundane bullet. Uh, I started with four scenes. <laughs> I'm getting errors now, at least. I'm jealous I can't uh. get errors. My engine can crash. Okay, we've had about 13 minutes go. We've got 47 minutes God. remaining. Right, That's just error? awful news. <laughs> All right, so let's pester Michael for a little bit. I saw sure. that your your airship was shooting before. Mm-hmm. And have sound effects too. But yeah. Nice. You Did can, you make uh, that airship yourself? Uh, yeah. No, I didn't. <laughs> it's really easy one. for my game to not be able to end as well, mostly because of the ludicrous way I got health to work without any code. There's a load of dominoes set up that fall over. <laughs> If you look at this platform, what happens is this red bar, whenever it hits an area, it sets your health to the next layer of health. And whenever you take damage, all the grey platforms disappear and it falls out from under you. And I go, so there's the platform, there's the red thing that's yeah. falling. Uh, if I go and take some damage, all the platforms mm -hmm. disappear and it goes down a layer. When it enters here, it sets you to 66% health. When it goes down to here, it sets you to 33% health. When it sets you to there, it kills you. I was telling you frozen again. Or maybe it's maybe it's the penalty you're getting for having already have half your game in your script. It's literally just a character movement and a background. And it's not <laughs> even that. Funny, right now it's funny, just a background. Could... There. You Perfect. can see me now, right? Yeah, yeah, I can see you now. Yeah. Thank you. The whole problem is because last week you were doing a battle in Unreal, now you're doing a battle in Unity. 
I, I don't. Yep. I don't think that was meant to be. It's like mixing the mixing the elements together. So I'm still not convinced that in Unreal you've only got one blueprint. All right. <laughs> I have one component that has all of what? my blueprints in it. Wait, one component? That isn't that like one have, having one component in Unity that has twenty scripts in it? No. No, no? a component right. in 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 here is like a script in Unity. Like you just attach okay. to an actor in Unity. So the only difference is that in Unity, because you're writing all your code out like line by line, you have to like declare your functions in your code, right? I, I think I don't type code. I'm not. I'm above that, I guess. I've ascended. So, so all of my functions are housed in these nice little like they're like, tucked away in these little like separate windows. Uh, we'll see what we'll see what the community thinks about that. I've hit my second sort of trick to make everything work, which mm -hmm. is uh, animation players, which is how I'm making everything work because they can set properties for stuff at specific times. I can control animation players with animation players. Yeah, okay, about about 37 minutes remaining. Sterling, is it work yet? No, I'm just trying let's to figure just, out which... Let's just pretend you're part. coding at the moment. Oh, code, 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 code. We have what some stuff? unreal progress. Michael's got uh, a widget in his world. I like what you've done there with the three different colors of the arrow. Anyone who's watched our battles before knows how much I love default skyboxes as well. Yeah, this is the problem with having one script is uh, everything is in the same place. So it's a lot of like, where are the things I need to look for? Oh, look at that clouds. Uh, nice. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. And you got some bullets happening as well. Good. Not quite hell yet, but we're getting there. How are your bullets going, Bram? You still look like you've got just a little bit of um, dust particles. They're not the bullets, are they? The white ones? The red bits are the bullets. So I have five. Hopefully when I'm done, there will be more than five. 30 minutes. Uh, okay. Half an hour left. So, so far, we've got Bram's working on some sort of box with uh, snowflakes. Uh, Sterling is working on Operation Debug and has spent the last 20 minutes figuring out when you've got a massive script, how do you actually find anything? And he found the thing that he was looking for. Uh, so success there. And Michael is working on 20 different blueprints and claiming it's all one script, which seems fine because I don't know, Unreal people and their components and apparently it's more complex than this simple brain can handle. Yeah, I was hoping my plan was to get multiple enemies to spawn. So my, my kind of game plan was I was sort of riffing off the idea of us having one script with everything in it. So I was like, well, what if we have one boss with all the enemies? Uh, so my game plan was to have a boss that as you shoot, like enemies kind of shoot out of it. Okay, yeah. My initial plan was to have like multiple. I think I'm just gonna try and get one. We'll, we'll see how we go. We have the Not Unreal 20. developer is doubling down on pretty clouds. Look at that. This is not supposed to be. Okay, I think right at this point, we're seeing the joy of what you guys are trying to do. Bram's trying to make magic with a thousand animations sterling just took his gigantic script off the screen and uh i don't know what monstrosity was on uh michael's screen just there but it looked like about a thousand dragons trying to yeah. eat each other you also just froze again at the end of this we'll have the analysis of how much time did you actually spend working on your game and i think for unity it'll be uh let's see 45 minutes trying to figure out why this one single script is broken uh, and then 14 and a half minutes trying to get the camera working again. And that half a minute of just magic making the game good. I love the hacky nature of what you're doing there, Bram. It seems like you shouldn't be allowed to do that. It yeah. seems very, um, oh, I've forgotten how to program. So I'm just going to connect it all together with animations. Yeah, one whole game out of animation players and some timers and a little bit of physics. I mm. can't get over that my health bar is controlled by physics being applied to a slab. Oh, uh, Michael got some paths happening there. Some splines, a little bit of spline action. I like it. I think uh, Unreal's taken the lead with dragons. I can give you circles. Do circles count? <laughs> well, how did you say I... circles? Circles. I'm a huge proponent of circles, especially. Have you got some sparkles. <laughs> some sparkles. Have you oh, we can add some sparkles. Yeah, I'll add some sparkles. I've got time. <laughs> we always going to add sparkles. You got 18 yeah. minutes to make your game look like it works. Just make sure there's lots of bullets, lots of stuff. Tune it to okay. 11. I Ram, you did. appear to be having some frame rate issues there. Uh, we just hit the region I added, which is I didn't want to design more waves, so I just started rotating the map and thus giving new orientations of uh, bullets yeah. being fired at you. How many lines is your script up to, Sterling? Right now, uh, a lot. 
whenever you try and be clever and funny and be like, oh, it's one script, so I'll just put everything in that script, even the level and the controller and all of the other stuff. Yeah, it gets really long and also really hard to find stuff. Eight more bullets oh. in the game. We've got about 14 minutes left, so now's the time to add a lot more bullets. In real life, I think I'd call anything above, like, two bullets coming at me a bullet hell rate. It's not real life, think... though. This is Bidou life. Oh, I have a bullet. There you go. Oh. We have a fireball. The fireballs, are, like, the dragons are quicker than oh. their own fireballs. Oh, look at that. That guy's, he's vomiting out a lot of them. Does this work? Does this work? Come on, bullets. Oh, hell yeah. Bullet hell yeah. Bullet hell yeah. Have you Something. seen the clip of the the guy who's talking? I assume they're boyfriend and girlfriend. I haven't paid close attention. He's like, I could, what do you say? I could sit in my gaming chair all day long or I could sleep in or something. And she's like, um, hell nah. Hell nah. Oh, hell nah. Maybe we need to make this a little bit more language friendly and call it bullet heck instead of bullet hell. Oh, look at the fireworks Phew. over there now. It's all oh, happening. No, yeah, there we go. That's gone from bullet pleasant to bullet hell. Go. Okay, we're actually oh. seeing some bullets and some bullet hell. I'm liking where this is looking. Hey, Bram, what happened to the sparkles? Do we? Did you get sparkles in there? Sure. Argue they're a bit sparkly. I mean, they're sort of yeah. glowy circles. They glow. They they're glowy. Yeah. <laughs> there's seven minutes, so do do whatever you can do that doesn't break the game. That would be my recommendation. Okay, the game works. <laughs> the game works. <laughs> okay, we got one and a half minutes left. Get a few more bullets in there before the time is over. Thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. Okay. I'm gonna hit tab a couple more times. <laughs> <laughs> Such as you're right. Bram, yeah. representing Godot, how did you go with one script and bullet hell? Show us what you got. Uh, I've still got no script, so I definitely no messed script. up on that front. So as it stands, uh, there's just ever such a lot of weird jank going on to make this work. Um, as I was saying at the start, there are buttons that when you push keys, physically shunt the player character in a set direction. So that's how I got movement going off the back without any code triggering it. And then almost all the rest of it is animation players and timers. Uh, off the screen, the whole time it's running, we've got this box here and these buttons. And uh, if I go into the game, whenever I take damage, <laughs> the gray platforms disappear and thus the red box can be pulled downwards by gravity and when it gets to a lower area it hits an area 3d when it hits that area 3d it emits a signal that can tell the progress bar at the bottom to change our health if i go to the player the player has an area 3d on the, this this thing here whenever a bullet comes into contact with that it emits a signal here so i can connect those signals to functions that are on different objects in my game. That's wow. it, no script. This was agony. Wow, <laughs> bonus points for no script. Okay, uh, representing uh, Unreal, we have Michael. What you got? There's, uh, there's some controversy over your one script only that we're gonna have to have a Unreal Unity Godot comment battle about, I think. Show us what you got. Well, it sounds like I need to learn Godot because that's pretty nuts. Everything is pretty much just packed into here. I have a bunch of random like functions over here. Like this is the start spawning function that just runs on a tick. So every second we spawn one enemy with a chance to spawn. So it's not always like super consistent. And then, yeah, so my enemies just kind of spawn along this spline here. They pe randomly pick one of the splines and then move down the spline and then randomly burst projectiles as they go. And uh, that's about it. All the other, other stuff I added was some cool, like um, polished stuff, like sound effects. I made it evening, so the lighting looks a little more dramatic. There's definitely there's definitely bullets and hell in there. You've done a great yep. job of that. Thumbs up, thank you. Excellent. Sterling representing Unity and chipping away, adding a little bit of extra code into your script, I see. Oh. So how many Hopefully, lines you look, up to with your, with your script, your it's, single script? It's so long, Rick. It's, it's so incredibly long. Here, I'll, let's, let's go look. So right now it is uh almost there 1400 <laughs> and 31. Anyway, so here's what I got. I got a boss spawning uh the player they fight each other whoever wins, you know, obviously wins and it, and you can win the game. So I think that's something. 
Yes, and that's all the victory. You said victory script, but that's all within your one script, right? Everything's in there. Right, yeah, sorry. The victory section of this monstrosity. <laughs> uh, so I had a whole a whole thing planned out. Uh, there were extra enemies to spawn. Like, I got all their sprites set up. There was, like, treasure chests that would drop, and I got <laughs> all those sprites set up, and I got all the variables yeah. set up for them. I was ready. And then I loaded up the project, and my player wasn't moving for the first 20 minutes. So I'm I'm happy that the boss is in here and that they can shoot bullets. That's not just one script. That's one game object and one component and one script. Holy moly. So we have three bullet hell games, each with their own fun constraints they've put in. We've got Godot, Unity, and Unreal. Who do you think won the bullet hell one script battle? Let us know in the comments. See you again soon.